Jack, how did you use technology in the planning, research, production and evaluation stages? Well, first of all, in the production stages, we used the HD Canon camera uh, to film all of our music video as it allowed high-definition filming. Um, and it also has stabilisation settings which reduced um, swaying off the shot when we filmed, which were the loss of marks in the, when it came down to marking. Also the feature which allows us to zoom in and out, uh, so we can zoom in, perform close-up shots of the artist, or zoom out to perform mid-shots. Um, secondly, we also used our mobile phones, uh, which are smartphones, to keep in contact and take pictures of like, location and of the scenery where we took um, the video took place, and then upload it to Blogger or share it between us. When it came down to editing, we used the program Final Cut Express on the Mac as it allowed us to upload our, our shots completely to it and then shorten it or lengthen it and add the desired effects such as the transitions, the colour filters, colour corrections. Um, it also allows us to modify the speed of the shots because during ours we actually had some, we actually slowed a few of our shots. Yeah, we also used Final Cut Express to modify the speed of our shots because during ours we actually had. Uh, a, a varying amount of slow shots, especially for the memories, and in the at the end of the video, we also used a we used to modify the speed to speed all the shots up to create some a quick montage of shots together. We Final Cut Express also allows us to make bins on our program, which um, allow for organisation of the shots to be a lot easier. So we had outside shots in one bin, and then um, stop motion shots in the other. We also were able to on Final Cut Express to uh, reduce or remove sound of shots because during our filming I played guitar and sung along in order to keep the lip syncing correct so to take out the sound we Final Cut Express allows us to take out the sound. We also used a secondary camera apart from the Canon which was an SLR Canon um, mainly to take pictures for our stop motion however it also proved rather useful when coming to film as we were allowed to have two cameras running at the same time to not only in allow for quicker filming but also just varying shots as well which was really good. Um, SurveyMonkey in really helped us in research and planning as we were able to create surveys and ask specific questions to our audience and gain feedback um, to know really what an indie video is and what the conventions of an indie video are for us to stick to in, or develop or challenge when coming to actually make our music video. Prezi was another way that helped us in research and planning. As you can see here, we created a presentation which allowed us to um, put, brainstorm loads of ideas as to the frames we want to use, the Polaroid idea, the use of time and the moving furniture in a unique way other than um, Microsoft PowerPoint. And it, did, it really helped us when coming together and really helped um, and planning. Second, we use uh, the social network site Facebook, especially when we're looking at Lewis Watson, because we're able to gain ideas of his demographics and who his target audience were, which proved to be young, younger females around 17 to 20. Therefore, our music video had to um, be focused to draw in that audience type. We also use the other social networking site, Twitter which we did progress for posts on, which can be seen on our blog, which I'll talk about later. Have we progress posts on here, just keeping updated on everything we were doing, such as when we filmed, when we edited, when we had group discussions. We also used it to talk to Lewis Watson and gain permission from him uh, to actually perform his music video windows. We used Gmail to keep in contact with each other, post emails with ideas or group discussions or meetings. Uh, which allowed us to really, um, yeah, to really allow us to keep on keep in contact easily and yeah, well. And we also we also emailed other artists that we potentially wanted to use their music videos for. The site blogger allowed us to post all of our information down of our research and planning, our editing, and our uh, final pieces as well. Mainly research and planning was mainly done on it because we were able to. Um, just proposed in, an, in a neat way all of our ideas and what we found out through research and planning we were able to upload videos from YouTube, post pictures from Google or wherever we wanted if we took photos on our smartphone as mentioned earlier 
Now I've got it straight to Blogger, so we can present them in a neat way and an easy way. We also Blogger also allows us to use a SoundCloud, which can be seen here, where we um, tag the um, specific fields covered within our discussion within the post, such as in the filming update we talked about the filming, the location, the planning. So I tag that in the SoundCloud, so it can be used to, if once clicked on the certain tag, we can talk about that in more detail. Uh, furthermore. Blogger also allowed us to add widgets such as the Twitter one which I mentioned earlier which shows all our progress posts to keep in contact with whoever looks at it. We also have a Tumblr account here which I'll talk about as well which allows us to show which we use Tumblr to gain uh, inspiration from other videos um, and pictures which seems rather indie or vintage to us which is the main theme within indie conventions and our uh, music video as well which I wanted to include. We also used YouTube to, um, as we were able to look up other indie videos such as the undertones and um, the city in colour which for inspiration and we were able to upload our rough cuts images which we have done and our final piece which we were hoping for good feedback and also criticisms of it as well so we know what we have to improve next time when we come around to if we did it have to do it again and that's it Photoshop allowed us to edit all our photos, especially our magazine adverts and our digipack and inlays. Um, as you can see here, this is our magazine advert. We um, took photos on the cameras that we had and then uploaded it to here. Here and then we were able to add the font to it, the name of the artist, Lewis Watson, our album cover and any necessary details which the magazine advert included, such as the bonus track, the link to Twitter, Facebook, iTunes and also criticism from other magazine adverts, such as the M, the Clash, Indie, ID and stuff. So it really, we're able to play around with it so much, use so many varying effects and filters on it um, to really create a desired effect we really wanted and we envisioned in our heads.